Good morning, family. Guess what day it is? It's hump day. I just watched that commercial trying to get this uh, network to come up. I love you guys. And uh, it is Wednesday. It is hump day. I'm uh, hoping that it's going to be a great day for you guys. And um, just wishing you the best. Uh, today, what I want to do is reading through a um, daily devotional. And as I'm reading this devotional, something just struck me. And so it's in Exodus chapter 16. And I'm just going to read this um, verses 17 through 21. So um, the children of Israel, just to give you a little background, the children of Israel have been brought out of Egypt and uh, out of slavery, out of uh, this just lifestyle of being uh, ab- abused and oppressed. And they um, are free, but they're walking around in the wilderness and they get hungry. And so then they start complaining and saying, hey, why did God bring us out here so we could die? And then um, the children of Israel, so the Lord rained down uh, manna from heaven. And so he says, this is the thing which the Lord has commanded. Let every man gather it according to each one's need. One omer for each person according to the number of persons. Let every man take for those who are in his tent. Then, um, then the children of Israel did so and gathered some more, some less. So when they measured it by omers, he who gathered much had none left over, and he who gathered little had no lack. Every man had gathered according to each one's need. And Moses let, said, let no one uh, leave any of it until morning. Notwithstanding, they did not heed Moses. Some of them left it until morning, and uh, and the worms and it bred worms and stank, and Moses was angry with them. So they gathered it every morning, every man according to his need, and the sun became hot. And when the sun became hot, it melted. So what was interesting about this when I read it was, um, so they gathered it every day. And uh, so it was pretty cool. Uh, first of all, God rained down to heaven, and he also uh, sent quail at night so they would have meat. And he said, get what you need. And don't leave it, Um, you know, don't get uh, half of what you need right now and leave the other half for later. Get what you need, go get it, and and store it up and and use it and eat it. And they did that every morning. So what, what got me about this was God provides us with everything that we need. He gives us everything that we're going to need, and he does it every day. His faithfulness. Every day he provides us with what we need. Now, our job is to go get it. Um, I would send out text messages sometimes. I was like, get you some, right? And um, so that's what God is saying to you. Get you some. Get what I've provided. You go get it. Every day you go get it. Um, uh, When I was uh, a little bit younger, my son Robert uh, talked to me about this song, Go Get Her. And I remember I would play that. I'd be in the gym. I'd be working out and I would be singing. I'm a go getter, right? I'm a go getter. So um, actually, God wants us to be go getters. So go get you some, right? He has provided it. There's something out there that God wants you to get. Go get it. And don't leave it laying around because when the sun comes up, if it's still out there, it's going to melt. It's gone, right? So every day, whatever God has provided for you, go get it. Don't be afraid. Here's the next thing is uh, that the Holy Spirit was, was putting on my heart was don't be afraid. The thing that God has given you to do, we make up really good excuses for why God doesn't know how hard it is to do what he told us to do. Um, God, I know the giants look small to you, but to me, I'm six feet. That giant is eight feet. That giant is big. I know he looks small to you, but to me, the giant's big. And God is saying, I'm with you. If the giant looks small to me, the giant's small. Compared to me, the giant's small. Amen. So don't be afraid to go get what God has for you. Go get it and get it every day and expect it every day and go get it. Whatever it is, if you're a business owner, then go own that business. Go get the, that business. Go get those sales. Go get that uh, new customer. God's got them out there for you. If you work for an employer, go get that next project. Go think up that new idea. Go go present whatever it is that God has for you. And um, if it's write a book, go write the book. If it's um, start a business, start the business. 
the Giants are out there. Yes, they are, but they they are there so that you can see how God can help you overcome the Giants. And so um, that's what I want to share with you. I love you guys. Also, uh, today is Caleb Wells' birthday. And so, Caleb, I love you. Happy birthday, man. Uh, you're such a joy to me and your mom. And uh, our scripture, I'd sent it out to you earlier. We love you. Y'all have a great day.